Hi and welcome to Meet Professionals. This is a series where I sit down with various people from various industries to find out a bit more about what they do. Today I'm chatting with Matthew. Hi Matthew. Hi, how are you doing? I'm good, thank you. Um, yeah, Matthew's from the music industry. So Matthew, thanks for chatting with me today. I thought we could start off by you just telling us your job title and a bit about what you do. Sure. So my job title is Director of Development at 360 Artist Development. Uh, we are an artist development company um, based in Leeds, although we service the whole of the country. We have artists from as far north as Scotland and as far south as Hastings who come to us um, to learn how to basically become an artist in the music industry today. Mm -hmm. So the main role of 360 artist development is to do what used to happen when people got signed by record companies it used to be the case that people would get signed then they'd go through artist development now it's kind of the other way around so we do everything from the training of uh, vocals performance songwriting social media training building a fan base um, and if they want to learn technical training um, with the studio stuff um, writing for them producing songs so they've got either an ep or an album that they can um, you know work with and then um, doing videos, cover videos, and trying to build their fan base. So they basically have the whole package. So that if they do uh, then approach record companies, they will be able to um, go and get a better deal because they'll have the whole thing um, together. That's not yeah. everything that I do. Obviously, I run um, Cedar West Studio, which we're in um, at the moment. So people who come for uh, recordings just by themselves um, and also train um, vocal coaching. So I'm a vocal coach. And on a more kind of... Um, personal um professional side i write music for sync so things like television film um and so on and so forth i do uh, music for that and obviously pitch that to music supervisors or, or music licensing agencies as well so that's kind of my varied life it's very varied <laughs> yeah definitely sounds like a lot of different angles a lot of things going on how did you get into the role that you're in now I'll try and condense it so that people don't you know, sort of switch off to the story, but um, I've been uh, in music all my life, uh, you know, everything from mainly sort of classically brought up music wise uh, in lots of different choirs, lots of different things. I did music GCSE, music A level, came to the college to do um, an HND in music production. And um, so I was always focused on music. It was always my talent and the thing that I, that I was most passionate about. Um, however, it's not the easiest industry to get into. There's not, the, there's not a lot of how to do this kind of thing. And you have to wear a lot of different hats and have a lot of different types of skills. But I started small. So, um, you know, uh, and built up from there. I started off working with, with uh, artists on a few songs uh, and building up from there. Then as that sort of grew, then started, I found a business partner, we started 360. And our initial thought around it was actually the fact that we ourselves got conned quite badly um, when we were trying to create some pretty amazing music for a theatre production. Um, and we ended up um, doing a lot of work and paying a lot of money out and ending up not getting paid. Uh, and we were very naive back then and, and just sort of trusted everyone thought, you know, you, you know, everything's fine and found that actually that's not the case. So uh, mm -hmm. we thought, well, you know, if that can happen to us, then then, you know, it can happen to anybody. And there are a lot of artists out there who, who um, are potentially at risk of, of being found by unscrupulous people. And we wanted to sort of create a business back then, which would sort of protect them almost uh, from that so that they, we would be almost that barrier um, to uh, to the bad things coming in and being able yeah. to help them get. Good things going out it's, it's such a buzz working here as well because everyone who comes is you know really happy and just really into what they're doing and so it creates a really good working environment and, and i've just loved it we've been doing it for about 10 years now and it's it's yeah. uh, i can't imagine myself doing anything else amazing well I, my next question was going to be what why is your job exciting or what is your favorite aspect of your job and but it sounds like you sort of you really enjoy most of it sort of thing it's all encompassing i, I do um i, you know, I suppose the thing that I enjoy the most is actually seeing uh, artists succeed in things because that's why I do it. That's why I, I work in artist development, you know, it is there to develop artists. So when they finally get to the point where, you know, we've had an artist get a million dollar record deal or we've had an artist get to number four in, in the country charts, we've had people get invited to the Urban Music Awards, we've had all sorts of things happen for our artists. Um, and when that happens, it's a real buzz because you know that you were part of that team that got them to the point where um, they're now going ahead and, and, and yeah. doing what they've wanted to do so that's yeah but equally we've also had some things which um aren't on that kind of scale but which also have a very um you know meaningful thing to us like for example we've had artists with very bad mental health issues or you know one artist was even agoraphobic so didn't want to leave their house and we got them to the point where they ended up performing on stage um and and you know it goes from through stages where they were like 
I got on a train by myself today or you know now finally they're up on stage doing something that's a big achievement because you know a lot of artists do have uh, you know some mental health difficulties certainly it's reflective in the music industry that that happens and with social media being as it is with everyone wanting to uh, to say what they think um, it can have a, a big negative impact. So a lot of the work is just building people's confidence up and getting them to the point where they feel able, that they're able to go and do that as a career and and, and overcome any of that that anxiety that they have. Yeah, amazing. So it's sort of, it's like you say, making them grow musically, but also there's this whole support structure as well. And I guess for you sort of being in the development job role, that's a skill that you need to have in terms of sort of being switched on to people's feelings and sort of what other skills would you say are necessary to kind of be in your particular role sort of the music development side of things um well it actually is a role which requires a lot of different skills um and that actually makes it quite hard for me um as a business uh, owner because if i had to replace myself or or ask somebody to come in and do what i need to do it would be very hard um, at this stage because generally people specialize in certain things like a producer a songwriter um, a vocal coach but if i think about all the hats which um which i have to wear both in relation to the technical side of the studio the business side of things the training side of things and and so on and so forth there's a lot of different things that that you have to be able to do um and so, you know, for someone who wanting to get into this kind of business, I would say start developing your skills in a lot of different areas. You know, you don't have to be a vocal coach because you don't have to be able to sing, but, you know, because there are obviously people that, that do that. But try and learn a craft, whatever it is, whether it be the technical side of things, whether it be performance, microphone techniques, whether it be, you know, tour work, whatever it is that you're really good at, develop that skill to such an extent that you're able to teach it. Because teaching, um, is about personality more than anything i think if you really know what you're talking about then you can teach it because you're basically passing on um, your knowledge to somebody else and working with them uh, to, to get them up to the same level um, that you are so mm -hmm. learn certain aspects there's a lot of work such as video work you know so video editing if people are doing cover videos you know that can help anything in the studio you know whether you're a mixing engineer whether you can do the mixing or even if you can just play an instrument or if you can record you know that kind of skill is going to be important um, yeah. If you're good at social media, then again, build that skill up because, you know, social media management and being able to, to navigate advertising on social media is another big thing. But the more skills that you that you have in different areas, the more attractive you will be to uh, an artist development company or even starting your own company because mm -hmm. um, artist development does encompass all of those different types of skills. So the more that you have, the less people that you'll need to bring on um, as employees, which obviously will help you in the early stages of yeah. uh, building the business, because it does take time um, to get to the level where you're even able to employ somebody else. Where do you see this, your company or sort of the music industry and your aspect of sort of music development in five to 10 years time? Do you see it changing much at all or expanding, growing technology? What are your thoughts? Technology is, is a really good point. Uh, in that because that is really what's changing the whole landscape in the music industry all the time. Um, I think in five years time things will be growing and staying pretty much as they are because people uh, still want to enter the music industry, still want to do that and independent artists are becoming more and more of a thing as it were because obviously you know the world is open to everyone now. You don't necessarily need a record company anymore um, to be able to be heard by people if you're good at uh, things like promoting yourself and getting your music out there. I still think there's a big place for record companies um, and, uh, and certainly you know I would like to see my artists signed by record companies because it just opens up that bigger aspect of the promotion and sort of the, you know the they take the weight off of you as an independent and get you out there. Um, yeah. But you know as technology progresses um, I think that um, production will become a lot easier you know, I remember when I first started recording, it was on a uh, four track tape recorder. So it was like, you know, you had to decide whether you definitely finished your take, because if you bounced it down, then it was it was bounced. You know, to <laughs> something else. Um, so uh, but yeah, you know, that's then progressed to, you know, now the computer music that we have, uh, people can make. Uh, you know let's look at you know billy Elliot and so on and so forth you know that they are they won grammys and they did their music production in their house um and and you know that that says it all the fact that we're now in a world where anyone can create music um on an ipad even so i think uh, in five maybe ten years time 
people will be much more savvy, much more able to make their own music, which, which will uh, potentially cause more competitiveness. How that will affect the artist development business, I don't know, because it could be that people are more wanting to try things out themselves, in which case, obviously, it would have an impact on us negatively. Um, or it could mean that because the world will be so saturated with everyone doing it, that they need that edge and therefore they need um, companies like ours to be able to sort of put them on that next level. Okay, Absolutely. one last question. You have covered this a little bit already, but what main piece or final piece of advice would you give to someone, you know, a student who's maybe just started their music course at college or is, you know, looking at the music industry thinking, ah, where do I, where do I go? What piece of advice would you give them? Contacts. Um, very important. Um, things open up for you when you start getting to know people. Yeah. Um, it's, it's a very hard thing to do, but I would say, first of all, you obviously believe in yourself. If you're going to college doing a music course, then you obviously believe in yourself anyway, and you're obviously into music. That's the number one thing. So we don't need to talk about that. That's, that's a given, <laughs> isn't it? Um, but if you want your, your um, career to be in any business, and it's not just music, but certain, certainly you know, in music, then contacts are going to be something which will really help you. And both on a level of peer-to-peer -peer contacts and contacts trying to get that next level. Don't just think, I need to get to the next level, I need to connect to that CEO of Sony. Uh, you, know, you don't. You need to connect to people at your own level because you don't know how they will then progress in their career. That person that you're friends with now, that you're collaborating with maybe, might then become the next person that, that uh, becomes someone that you want to connect with and then their connections will then grow and help you. Yeah. Um, work with people um, online, do work with them, get songs together if you are a, a musician with other people because then you've got more people promoting your music and putting it out there. Now, all the stories about people who've got to the top of their game, you'll, you'll, if you read about their stories, you'll hear about things like, I started working in this place, or I got a job as an intern doing this, or I worked with this person on this project, and then they happened to get somewhere, and so my song then went with it, and then I got signed. You know, it just goes on and on. Um, you know, I could give you so many examples. A friend of mine was the, um, the girl who wrote the song uh, 17 by MK. Um, and she put that song out on YouTube. Um, it's her voice on the song. She put that song out on YouTube as her own demo. Um, MK listened to it, got in touch with her and said, um, can I use this uh, in a song? She didn't really know who MK was. So she was like, yeah, fine. And he's like, well, do you want me to credit you as the artist? And she's like, no, I'm not an artist. I'm a songwriter, um, but, but you can use it. Um, next thing she knows, it's uh, you know, in the top, top yeah. of the charts all over the world. Um, and Sony Music signed her to a, uh, a three year songwriting deal. She's now working with Zara Larson, um, David Guetta, um, wow. and so on and so forth. So, you know, get your stuff out there, get yeah. it on the internet, connect with people all the time, follow up with people with emails. That's a really big thing as well. You will send emails out and you will get either ignored or rejected. And you'll just be thinking, why is nobody replying to any of my stuff? Um, but sometimes, people in the industry get so many emails that sometimes they might read your email and just forget to reply or they've got another thing that they've had to reply to don't be afraid to follow up or even pick up the phone and just say um i'm just just following up to see if you've managed to listen to what i sent you because it will prompt them and you will then be the first person on their mind as yeah. opposed to if you never follow up you're forgotten yeah, um, yeah and you'll never know why so so don't be afraid to follow up don't be afraid to make connections and definitely don't be afraid to pick up the phone and if you are a bit nervous then write down what you might say to that person um, yeah. before you uh, call them and just give it a go you've got nothing to lose um, and, and potentially everything to gain so yeah. you know just uh, I, I would say that that would be my biggest piece of advice to people starting out but believe in yourself because you can do it yeah Matthew thank you so much for chatting with us today that was sort of very yeah. for me I don't know a lot about the music industry personally so I've definitely learned a lot um, if you guys watching would like to find out more about um, Matthew's job role in particular or a bit more about 360 and what they do just drop us a comment and we will get back to you. And we'll also add a link to this in the description to uh, 360 production as well. Right. Thank you for chatting thank to you. Matthew and we'll see you soon. Thanks. Take care. Good luck, everyone. Bye.